welcome back to another video. Today is the beginning of our new series, Fixing the Isles Roster, one group of dinosaurs at a time. The first one we have is Ceratopsians. The Isles Roster. Isn't that just a lovely sight? So it needs some help. And more importantly, about half of it needs to go, and what better place to start than the six Ceratopsians that are planned for the game? And I'm not even counting basal species, just pure Ceratopsians. You've got Protoceratops, Avaceratops, Triceratops, Diabloceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus, and Styracosaurus. This is an issue. Why? Well, because the Isle Devs are slow. And I don't mean that to be negative, it's just a fact. And with that fact in mind, the worst thing they could do is make a 50 plus roster of dinosaurs that they will never be able to complete, thereby cementing the aisle as a permanent beta and preventing players from getting what they want because they have to wait for the 5th Dibble clone to release before they can get a damn Sukumimus. Speaking of which, never mind, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's break this down into categories. For the small tier, we have Avaceratops and Protoceratops. For mid-tier, we have Diabloceratops and Styracosaurus, and for large tier, we have Pachyrhinosaurus and Triceratops. Yes, I know, Triceratops is an apex, but there are six dinos to figure out here, and damn it, I'm gonna make this look as digestible as possible or die trying. So let's start with Ava and Proto. Both are kind of neat, actually. Ava is taking a rather unique approach as it's going to be an omnivorous burrow stealer. Protoceratops, on the other hand, is a more conventional small ceratopsian with a nasty bite and strong parental instincts. The issue is, both of these dinosaurs do basically the same thing, with the only differences being Ava's omnivorous diet and Proto's ability to dig its own burrows. Everything past that is superficial and more up to the players than an actual change in the way the playable works. They're kind of interchangeable past that, and that's why I prefer Ava. There aren't many omnivorous dino options to begin with, and I think that having more contestability with burrows would help balance them to some degree, instead of making them impervious fortresses with almost zero drawbacks, leading to nothing but server lag and a quarter of the population playing prehistoric ant simulator while the helpless players above wonder why they're running on 15 FPS, which granted is only 5 less than normal, but still. Next we have Dibble and Styraco. This is where the roster starts to piss me off. We do not need Styracosaurus. We have Kentro, which will do the exact same thing. It's a similar sized heavy bleed dealer. The only difference I could see is Styraco having more health and moving a bit slower. But again, what's the point of having both? I don't think anyone would care if we got rid of Styraco when there's still a plethora of options for the same niche and the same type of dinosaur in a similar size range. Removing Styraco will only get us closer to having the other Ceratopsians on the list, so if you're mad that I'm taking things off the roster, that is something to think about. Dibble has to stay, no discussion, because in terms of gameplay it's rather unique and it's a staple of Legacy Isle. We're keeping Dibble plain and simple. Now we get to Pachyrhinosaurus and Triceratops. It may come as a surprise to you, but I want to keep both. Triceratops is our only bleed slash brawler apex that isn't Freddy Krueger, and Pachyrhinosaurus is really our only Ceratopsian for the large tier. Alongside that, we also get a similar playstyle to Dibble, but on a larger scale, which I think is fine since that scale is massively different. This is not a Subrex and Albertosaurus situation. Anyways, this is part one of the series, and we have lots more to do, so watch out for those, and as always, thank you for watching, and have a good day, bro.